so the next kind of logical step is is that this this met its primary endpoint of an objective response and it, that it be clinically significant. So um, the next step for this would be to pursue regulatory you know uh, uh, actions, whether that be for uh, accelerated approval in the US or um, you know developing a a phase three trial to evaluate this against chemotherapy. As I mentioned, we had targeted 11% as, as a kind of reference point. And with the activity observed, there's a lot, a lot of interest in wanting to see whether or not in a phase three setting, this can actually be uh, proven. So that, I think those would be the, kind of the low hanging fruit next steps. And then obviously, because this has activity as a single agent, the question that everybody asks was, well, what can we combine it with to make it even better? And so uh, there's a number of uh, studies that are ongoing right now that are looking at this drug in combination with immunotherapy, antiangiogenesis therapy, and in different lines and then in different schedules. So, um, you know, in the next year or so, we'll see um, the expansion of our understanding of what the best uh, dosing frequency is and what might be the best partner for it to uh, move forward.